So first of all, what are you guys fans of? What am I fans of? I'm fans of food. <laughs> I'm fans of. Um, I'm a big. I'm a big Flash fan. I am a big Star Wars fan. Huge Star Wars fan. Big Lord of the Rings fan. Bigger than even Star Wars fan. So Kirsten has her feelings back. Um, is it like riding a bike, or how is she going to adjust to all of a sudden having emotion? It's not really like riding a bike. I think. <laughs> I think. This whole season is really about her figuring out how to handle the emotions that she now has. So, you know, how do you how do you handle feeling really angry? How do you handle feeling really sad? Um, everybody's had their entire lives, you know, from kids. A big part of a parent's job is to teach your kids how to handle, how to manage their feelings. And she hasn't had that since she was eight years old. So it's a big adjustment for her. Yeah. And Cameron's near-death experience he seems to have bounced back pretty quickly, yeah. but um, are we going to see any long-term repercussions for him or across the team of uh, that experience? I don't know if the, the repercussions are as much as like, you know, side effects from the actual stitch and what, you know, she saw in his mind, but it does definitely, you know, change him as a person and as a character. Um, and I think he comes into his own a lot and he kind of uh, has a little bit more confidence across the board and, and the workplace and the field um, and with his relationships with Kirsten, um, he definitely is you know comfortable with how he feels about her and he you know whether or not she reciprocates that he at least gets it off his chest to know like all right at least you know now and i can continue on and hopefully that's with you and if not you know we'll see what happens